Are you wondering what the Florida housing market is expected to do in 2022? Do you need to buy now? Are prices going to continue to increase? Well, let's see what the experts are saying and what the market is doing locally here in St. Johns County, Florida. Since the spring of 2020, the St. Johns County area has been a seller's market unlike anything I've seen in my real estate career. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm expecting a lot more of the same for at least the first half of the year. One of the reasons is Jacksonville is in the top five cities people are moving to, and we in St. Johns County are just south of there. Another reason is we are only seeing about a month of inventory, which means if no other houses come on the market, it will take one month for the homes listed to be sold. Remember, a balanced market is six months. It's gonna take a while to get back there. So needless to say, we need more inventory because the demand is there. Today, over 50% of the workforce is working remotely and this is likely a permanent change. So the demand to be in a state with tax advantages and warm weather is high. And with the low supply over the past couple of years, we have seen an increase in prices by 25 to 30%. And it's not just single family homes. Did you know that in 2021, condos were a hot ticket item and we saw a 34% increase in sales. So if you're sitting on a condo you have been wanting to sell, this would be a good time. With the lack of inventory, we are relying on builders to build us more supply. And anyone who's bought new construction in the past year knows it's been tough. Builders are having to navigate timelines with labor shortages, supply chain issues, and an increase in prices. Many of the local builders here are having to slow down the rate at which they write new contracts to keep up with the slower pace of construction. Some builders are building spec homes, one in particular is D.R. Horton, and they seem to have a better timeline to completion, but they still see delays. But there is some good news. Chief Economist Lawrence Yoon of the National Association of Realtors is expecting more inventory this year, which means hopefully home sellers that want to tap into this hot seller's market are going to start feeling the pressure to list sooner than later. However, according to CoreLogic, home prices in Florida are expected to rise 10.7%, so you do have some time to prep. And what about foreclosures? The forbearance moratorium ended, but we didn't see a huge wave of foreclosures. This tells me that the forbearance program worked the way it should, but I do feel we will see some foreclosures come on the market this year as they start to process them again. Though the majority of homeowners that would have been seeking foreclosure have instead seen a huge increase in their equity, so these homeowners should be able to sell their home instead of doing a short sale or a foreclosure. Either way, homes that will go into foreclosure will take some time, so I am not expecting a huge uptick this year. Let's talk about mortgage rates. In 2021, they averaged 2.96%. In 2022, some experts are expecting a 30-year fixed rate to rise to 3.7%, and others are predicting as high as 4.5% by the end of the year. Either way, the Fed did announce they will be increasing rates this year to combat inflation. Now, I remember when I bought my house in 2006, yes, I bought at the bubble, um, who knew? I got a rate of 6.375, and if you talk to anyone who has bought homes in the past 40 years, they saw rates in the teens. So these rates are still historically low. But with home prices continuing to rise, any increase in the mortgage rates could put some home buyers' dream of owning a home out of reach. And when you think about the sellers who have refinanced this past year to 2.7% or 3%, will they even want to sell in the coming years if rates are going to continue to rise? With this in mind, it has me wondering if we are ever going to get back to a balanced market. Real estate is expected to drive the market in 2022, and if the rate increases are sustained, then we should eventually expect some slowdown in the price increases, which would be a good thing as our economy continues to recover. As for buyers who have waited this out thinking we were going to see a crash, my guess is they're kicking themselves now because people who bought in 2020 are already seeing equity in their homes. So if you are ready to buy but are waiting, I do not think this year is going to bring you the lower prices you were expecting. Cash buyers from other states have entered the Florida market over the past two years and will continue to this year, which will result in a negative impact on buyers who need financing, especially veterans and first-time home buyers. This competition is unbelievable, especially in new construction, turnkey, and luxury homes. Sellers, the market is still very much on your side for the foreseeable future. The Florida market remains strong while some others are starting to wane, but with the inventory expected to rise a little this year, listing your home sooner than later will give you less competition as we approach the spring. Either way, we are not in a bubble, it's a supply and demand issue, and it's going to take a while to get back to a balanced market, so you will not see your home prices plummet anytime soon. I'd love to know what you are seeing in your local market. Is it still a seller's market, or is your market starting to balance out? Drop a comment below and let me know. If you have any questions, reach out anytime and check out this video right here if you're interested in a move to St. John's County. Thanks as always for tuning in and I will catch you on the next one.